It's marvellous to be back in Abu Dhabi. I think Abu Dhabi always used to be the first race of the season, so everybody enjoyed it because they got to catch up on what the hot news was and what had happened over the off-season. And also, I think most of us have come from North American winters and European winters, which uh, the weather's been pretty grim. So we're all really pleased to be back here. It's an sort of uplifting experience to see this nice weather, the beautiful Corniche, and uh, to be racing again. So I think we're all uh, very pleased to be back here. The race aeroplanes are pretty much based on uh, absolutely top level competition and air show aerobatic aeroplanes. They're pretty much Edge 540s from America, MXSs from America, um, and the uh, Corvus uh, originally from Hungary. Um, they're all sort of similar, single seat, carbon fiber, very light, very strong, with a very high power to weight ratio. So that's how they start as aerobatic aeroplanes but then they're optimized for racing. So people cut them down, uh, cut down the aerodynamic drag, and put some aerodynamic improvements on them uh, to make sure that they're as fast as they can possibly be. I think the first two guys were separated by two one hundredths of a second, so really tight. They're all flying the same identical aeroplanes, um, which levels the playing field again. And we're, we're hoping to use them as sort of ambassadors, really, around the world. We've got lots of different nationalities, and uh, of the ten challengers, six will fly at any race, so there'll be a different six, um, or some different pilots at the next round. And the idea is that when we get to the penultimate race, the last but run, one race, the fastest of the, of the series so far this year will go forward to the final in China, and the winner of that final will be handed the, the first Challengers Cup.